want to look at uh, quadratic equation, quadratic graph, and also look at a couple of tricks with, with respect to quadratic equation. Mm -hmm. So the first, this video, we, we are going to settle on quadratic equation. You know, we know this, the popular equation, this one is the equation of a line. Equation of a line this is a linear equation. This is a linear equation. It has only one variable x. The exponent is 1. It has its coefficient, and this is a constant. So y is expressed in terms of variable x. You also have, you can have y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. This is a constant. And this is x, this is the coefficient of x, this is x squared, this is the coefficient of x squared. When you have an equation of this form, we say it is, it is quadratic. We can also have a cubic equation. Normally, it may be a, a, a x squared plus b x squared plus c x plus d. But our focus is on this because it mostly comes at the session B, one full question they drop whereby you may sketch the graph. So when it comes, you may really you can also assume like let's say given that given that y is equal to two x squared minus x plus three. I don't know if the equation is right or not. I, I'm just trying to give an equation that we just solve it. It may be right, it may be wrong. Maybe going for when you, you get your test which you can get right equations and solve them. But we want to use this to explain how to use your calculator to sketch a graph and other things or fill in the table. So they say given that y is equal to this uh, with interval of say minus 3 less than or equal to x than this, then they may, with an interval of this, they, they may say copy and complete the table below. So you may have your x and your y. Sometimes they may give you other portions of the table. So you have your so minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, and three. How do I complete this? So maybe that copy on complete the table below. Then they may ask you other questions. What is the turning point? What is blah, 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 blah. So we are going to look at copying and completing the table. So solution. Fick, quick one. When you have, you know, we go to your calculator. What we're going to do is we can actually type this equation on the calculator as say alpha so when i want to is two when i want x i have to press alpha and when you look on your calculator when you look at a you see the a has a color and the color is that of the alpha so anytime you want to press the alpha and want to press a letter look at the color then you press alpha when you look at this one the car you see some solve there the color is that of the shift so it means that if you want this function, you have to press shift and this. Now we want to look where we are interested in x. X is up, uh, the color is this. I don't know whether it's move or no. I don't, I'm not good in colors. But the color is that of the alpha. So we press alpha x, but it is x squared. So I'll press the squared. Then minus x, so alpha x plus 3. Okay, so this is the equation. I've typed it on the calculator. But how do I really fill in the table? There is a quick one that we're going to do. So now I'll re-sketch the table and I'll teach you how to use the calculator to fill the table fully. So now I'll make the table as this x, then I'll bring 2x squared, then I'll bring minus x, I'll bring 3 before I bring my y. So I'll have minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0. One, two, and I'll have my three. Then my table, my table. This three is constant, so it will run through. So three, three, three. It's not influenced by any value of x. 
Okay, so now how do I fill this portion? Because there are times that you may have a table like this. So how do I fill this, this, this at a go? That's what we want to do, cut. So now back to the calculator. Now I'm going to punch the first, this, this first one, then on the calculator, this, and then the whole equation. Then I'll begin to fill in the table. So what I'm going to do is I'll press two alpha x squared. Then I want semicolon. When you look closely on the calculator, the semicolon is this, and the color is that of the alpha, so alpha semicolon. So we, we are looking at filling different columns or rows of a table at a go. So then I have minus x, so minus alpha x, then I'll press semicolon again. Then I'll press the whole equation, 2 alpha x squared minus alpha x plus 3. This thing that I've pressed, any time I change, I input the value of x, it will give me this, this entry, this entry, this entry. So as and when I change the values of x, I'll be filling the three entries at a go. Okay, so now I'll press solve or calc. They'll ask me, what is x? So now I want my, the first value is minus 3. So I'll put in minus 3. I'll put equal to. So you see that 2x squared has come. I Means this one. Now you say it is equal to what 18. When I press equal to again, it will take me to this next one, which is what minus x. The minus x is what we have here. And the answer is what? 3. Then I'll press equal to again. It will take me to the equation, the long one. So we look at it on the calculator. We see that that is what is there. So you see what 24. Then I'll put the 24. When you add this, this plus this plus this, it gives you 24 actually. Then I'll go to equal to again. They'll ask me what is x again. Now I'm down with the first one. So I'll input the second value of x, which is minus 2. So I'll put equal to, now I get 8 for the first one. Equal to, I'll get 2 for the second one. I press equal to, then they give me 13 for the last one. So you see we are filling one, two, three at a go. Instead of someone who just take his time, press two, we open brackets, X, then no, no, no. You just everything on the calculator, you just be using calculator, equal to equal to. Then the next one is okay, I press uh, uh, equal to they, they ask me what is X again, then I can change the value to minus one. So the first one gives me two, the second one gives me one, and the third one gives me six. So I go equal to again. So after typing the equation like 2x squared semicolon minus x semicolon 2x squared minus x plus 3. And then all you have to be doing is just when you after pressing the crack, you just go to like equal to equal to because that's what they'll be asking you. Now we are we are going to zero. So now this one goes to zero. This one they say is zero. And this one goes to three. In fact, zero plus zero plus three gives us three. So the next one, what is x again? Now x is 1. I change it to 1. So now the first one they are saying is 2. This one is minus 1. This one is 4. Now the second, then I have where x is. So uh, what is x? x is 2. So they say here is 8. Here is minus 2. And here is going to give me 9. They ask me what is x again? I say x is 3. They say here is 18. Here is minus 3. Here is going to give me 18. Yes, this minus 3 plus 3 will cancel, you get 18. So, with a calculator, I've been able to fill the table completely. Now, this is where people really delay or you spend more time there. The calculator has helped you to solve this less than 3 minutes. You should be able to fill the table, the rest will be show working where you can easily show working with, the, with this kind of table you've done when you are showing working okay so you just go like let me give you the trick for showing working for the quadratic so by having found this you can easily get your skill let's two centimeters be this one like something you need to just sketch your graph and then now you leave a space and you come and show work but what they will mark is this and the graph then you show the other workings that you show so maybe they will mark this and they will say they will mark when the values are right they will mark this and they will say like let's say b3 or b5 that's the value they will give when you sketch your graph do you access if your axis x axis y axis your scale is right they will mark and say okay maybe b3 b2 b5 then they'll come to where 
other sub questions are sorry sorry no, no problem so you, you got to show where can you say when x is equal to negative three we'll say okay y is equal to two into brackets negative three so that's what the truth you're going to use here negative three squared minus negative three plus what three but you see the calculator with this kind of table we had this slot this slot and that slot we know that this is three but the calculator helped us so this was also three this was this gave us i think 24 okay so we know that for this one it's this one so it's 18 what is the value here the value for minus x is going to be three so plus three and i will say my 21 four so i'll just be picking the values from this side this one was three again i think they had taken so when x is equal to what minus two i just say y is equal to two into brackets minus two squared minus minus two plus what three i know this is three now here what answer did they give me two so it was positive so plus and here the first one was eight so here is eight so y is equal to eight plus two. so i'll just be writing this so you see and the answer is what stating so when you use do your calculator your, your table in this form showing working becomes very very easy and you'll be able to solve the quadratic graph or and like fill in the table and sketch your graph very very fast and get the full answers to that particular particular question so watch out for the next video we'll, we'll let you know the link and don't forget to share thank you